Hi everyone, it's Dutch Reefer here and welcome to a new reef update. It's been a while, uh, but it's been quite hot in here over the past few weeks, so I didn't really feel like making uh, new videos when it's uh, that hot. So um, here's a new one. Uh, today I'm going to show you a quick update of my uh, two reef tanks, so this big tank and uh, the Nano, uh, because yeah, there's quite some new uh, corals. Uh, a good friend of mine uh, uh, quit the hobby. He had a, a very small uh, pico tank or a nano tank somewhere in between, um, and he had some uh, some beautiful corals that he uh, that he sold to me. So um, they're mainly in the in the nano reef. So uh, you'll see them uh, later on in this video. Uh, let's start off with this reef, um, as this is uh, well the biggest one. So uh, I explained to you about the uh, the temperature. So I did in fact buy a chiller a few months ago uh, that came in handy over the past few weeks. So I've attached it directly to the uh, to the to the roof where the, the heat is being uh, sucked out directly. Otherwise, it would just be circulated back into this room, heating up the room. Uh, I did have an air conditioning as well, uh, but that's in the living room right now since uh, the temperature there is uh, a bit more important than here. Uh, so I've just kept the chiller on uh, on this tank for now to uh, to keep it at around 25 degrees Celsius, which it's doing uh, pretty well. Uh, it's uh, it's a TK1000 uh, from the brand uh, Teco, and it's doing uh, quite a nice job in uh, in uh, keeping the tank uh, at uh, at temperature. So, um, bit of an update here. I did. I think I showed you last time that I updated the the reef structure, or maybe I didn't. Uh, in that case, you can see it right now. So I tried to make it even more open than it was before, uh, to give it that much more optimal uh, flow. Um, yeah, that's that's been working out quite well. Uh, as you can see, the sand looks pretty good. It's still a bit dusty here and there. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, just uh, what happens uh, when you have a lot of uh, fish moving around and uh, uh, kicking up dust. There's still some cyanoalgae on the rock, so that's what I'm still trying to get rid of. As you can see, like this, um, that's still the, the, the last remainders of, uh, of cyanobacteria um, that uh, need to go away. But then again, uh, that's also uh, just giving it a bit of time. Um, and uh, yeah, frequently sucking it off with a, with a hose and uh, adding some fresh uh, fresh salt water in there. So that's uh, that's going pretty well. Uh, the fish are having a blast. Um, let's quickly move to the other side since I think that's a bit more fun side to uh, to look at. Um, the reef from this side looks pretty much the same as you knew before. Uh, with the exception that this is now a lot more open as well and as you can see here's a nice shot of the uh, sea urchin uh, the diadema uh, well, and the fish are already uh, lining up for uh, for a quick shot since they like to be in the center of attention um, one of the new corals that I got is this uh, I had this one in my nano tank as well funny story this coral is uh, one I bought uh, I think four or maybe five years ago together with uh, with my friend uh, we cut it in half both took uh, half of the coral and uh, both have grown out to uh, to a whole new um, a beautiful colony uh, so this uh, this this leathery coral this cabbage coral uh, is exactly the same. It's the other half of the one in my uh, my nano tank, which I'll uh, I'll show you uh, later on in the video. There's some new Ricordea. So, for example, these orange ones here, I got from my friend. Uh, then these uh, these Soantas. They are uh, called uh, Sunny Delights or Sunny Ds. Um, and uh, yeah, some reef branches that lie here and there. And there's also another Ricordea right here. So there's a couple of corals. Uh, one, one more toadstool that is here, uh, which is uh, well, it's still early in the morning, so I guess it's still about to wake up. Um, this one has been in my nano tank for a while, but I decided to uh, to move it back to this tank uh, since it's quite large. Another Ricordea. So yeah, as you can see, he was quite the Ricordea guy, uh, and uh, well, I like them as well. I don't mind them. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm glad that that I could uh, well buy them from him. 
when he uh, decided to uh, to quit the hobby, which is of course a shame. Uh, but yeah, well, people move on, right? Um, so yeah, that's about the update that I wanted to give you on the big tank. So a couple of new corals. Uh, the reef structure is a bit more open. The cyano seems to uh, to disappear, at least from the sand. Uh, the sand looks uh, nice and, and, and clean, clean-ish. And um, yeah, that's it. So let's uh, move on to the uh, to the nano tank. By the way, when uh, while transitioning to the uh, to the living room, apologies for uh, um, for doing this video without the gimbal. So it might be a bit shaky. Uh, the reason is that the gimbal is uh, well drained. So uh, unfortunately, uh, I have to film it by hand. So here's the nano. As you uh, might as well know it, uh, as you can see, it's very colorful. Has been uh, very colorful. Let's see. It looks better without the uh, the coral lens, or maybe it doesn't. Well, let's uh, let's keep it on here for uh, for now and uh, remove it halfway through the video, so you can decide for yourself which you uh, which video which image you like more. Uh, so there's a couple of uh, of uh, new corals in here. Um, one of them is the uh, the Ricordea here on the left. This is actually a very beautiful one. I did have one of these before. Uh, I bought it at the same time as my friend, but mine died unfortunately. So I'm very glad that I got this one back. As you can see, it's a bit of a teal color, uh, and it has really beautiful small polyps lined up all across the, its body, and uh, some of them are a bit orange. So I think that's a, a very beautiful. Uh, uh, um, I think it's a Rhodactis. Then there's another one, which I think is extremely beautiful. Uh, it's not fully extended at the moment, but this is the color that you're uh, that you're looking at. It's bright green. Even if I remove the lens, as you can see right this, like this, it's still insanely green, and it has a really beautiful contrast when uh, when compared to the uh, the clownfish. Um, and yeah, this is also one I had before, which also died in my previous tank, so in the Red Sea Reefer 525. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, also pretty happy to have this one uh, back. Then there's uh, some other corals, as you can see right here, and it's beautifully lined up with the, uh, uh, the Salarias sitting on top of it. As you can see right like this. So this is a beautiful red chalice. The chalice, uh, it looks red, it's more of a pinkish red uh, with blue, uh, with light blue color covering the top side. So uh, yeah, really fond of this one as well. Really matches up nicely with the, uh, the other two chalices uh, in here. Then there's this Goniopora which is also, I think, a beautiful piece. It's still a small one, but that's perfect for the Nano. It, it doesn't need to be that big to uh, to be beautiful. Um, so I really like this one as well. It extends pretty well, and uh, overall gives a very nice uh, wavy look uh, to the tank. And uh, yeah, another uh, uh, Rhodactis right here, an orange one. A little less special between brackets, but still uh, a very nice one. Um, yeah, like I mentioned, it uh, matches up uh, really nice uh, with the, the color palette in uh, in this tank. So that's what I uh, what I uh, like most about this nano tank is that there's so much color uh, in such a small space that it looks like a, yeah a little, no, like a complete reef uh, with all the species there. Uh, so there's of course this cleaner shrimp. Uh, well, there's two hermits as well, which I forgot to mention up until now. So here behind this trachyphilia, which is also beautiful, by the way, uh, there's a, uh, a, a one of one of two hermit crabs eating away at some algae there on the sand. Uh, so yeah, some algae problems as well in this tank. It's not that bad, especially now that I have a cleanup crew there. As you can see, it's actively cleaning up this stuff. Uh, so that's uh, that's perfect. That's exactly why uh, why it's in here. So uh, yeah, glad to have some of. Uh, it's been a long time since I had hermit crabs in my tank. I do really like them, um, but yeah, somehow uh, 
uh, never gotten around to uh, to buying some new ones uh, yeah I think overall in a nano reef having small creatures like crabs and shrimp is a very uh, easy way to uh, to uh, yeah to sweeten up your tank without adding too much bio load so there's already four fish in this tank which is absolute maximum for a nano reef like this to keep the water values uh, stable um, so uh, I think I haven't even show you the, the newest fish so as you might be aware there's two clownfish in here which you've, se you've seen before then there's this uh, little or small cauderni which is one of the more recent additions uh, I got it from a, uh, a fellow reefer who found it in his uh, overflow uh, there was one left and uh, he asked if I wanted it I said well it would be a perfect fit for uh, for the nano reef as you can see uh, so I'm really glad that he uh, contacted me and uh, brought this fish uh, over and then there's one more small fish which I cannot see at this moment because it's very small uh, but you'll have to, uh, to trust me for this, ah oh, here's he's here as you can see I always forget the name uh, but I'm sure one of you will uh, will uh, will mention it in the comments, and uh, yeah, there's also a uh, sun coral right here which I still have to feed. Good reminder. Here's the other cabbage coral which I just referred to. So this is the other half of uh, of the one that I bought together with my friend all those years ago. So it's really nice to uh, to now have both sides of the same uh, coral. So that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you uh, enjoyed the update and uh, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. So for now, bye bye.